Hello, beautiful people. I'm gonna do a quick recap on what we did in Fiddle today, and then I will do Simple Simon with you so you can practice at home this week. Um, we talked about getting our fiddle out and being careful with it. Uh, and I put some tapes on mine so you'll, you will be able to follow my fingers. And the first thing we did was we put on our shoulder rest and we said, you wants to curve downward so that it's gonna kind of fit nicely on my shoulder. So I'm gonna stick that on there. Um, and a few of you have already decided that this feels kind of uncomfortable, and that is 100% okay. So you can see the down is going kind of across my body, and that's going to let me hold this with my face. And then the way I want to hold the fiddle is I want to hold it between my thumb and kind of the side of my hand, way up high, and there's still a little bit of room for a finger to peek through maybe. And when I'm holding it, I do not want to crush the baby bird. I want to pretend that I've got a baby bird in my hand and I want to keep my wrist kind of straight because then I can be all up in this business here. And if I'm like this, I can't reach too many things, so that's not great. Okay, so that's what we said about the fiddle. And then the bow tightens and loosens with this right here. So when we put it away, the string should be nice and loose. You can see how loose they are. And then I'm going to turn this knob and I'm going to tighten it so that it's wider at the base and at the tip than it is in the middle. Almost that I could stick my pinky finger in there, but I'm never gonna touch those strings because then they won't play. All right, so holding it, we said we've got this thing which is called the frog and it's got a nice little bendy bit and I'm gonna put my thumb right there and then let it touch down. I'm gonna let my pinky finger drive the top and then these three are just gonna kind of chill, flop over. So. My thumb is touching in two spots. It's touching the top and the base, and I've got a lot of power there, which is really cool. So um, I want you to take a stab this week at tuning your fiddle, and I'm gonna put two YouTube links. One is just what the notes sound like. G, D, And so you can tune it. And for now, I only want you to try to de-use your fine tuners. I only have one fine tuner. I think all of you have four because it's really easy to break a string if you tune with the big tuners for now. So I'm gonna send you a really great video on what the strings should sound like and a great video on how to tune. Um, if you have a parent that plays an instrument and they can help you, that is great. And if you break a string, we all do it. It's okay, we'll get you a new string. It's a learning curve, everyone breaks a string or two. So I'm gonna hold this, and we said, I've got my E string, my A string, my D string, and my G string. And the standard thing on a fiddle is that my very first finger is gonna go on that very first tape, my second finger is on the second tape, my third finger is on that third tape. So the tune we learned today is Simple Simon, and it goes, A, A, one, one, two, two, three, three, E, E, one, two, three, A. And we just learned that A part. So if I'm showing you that in my fingers, on the A string, I'm gonna go A, sorry, no fingers on the A string. A, A, one, one, two, two, three, three. And I'm gonna play my E string. E, E, one, two, three. A string. So let's do it a couple times. Let's pluck it first. We'll just pluck it a couple times. I'm trying to get a really good view, so I'm gonna go A, A, one, one, two, two, three, three, E, E, one, two, three, A. Let's play it. Ready? A, A, one, one, two, two, three, three, E, E, one, two, do it again. A, A, one, one, two, two, three, three. E, E, one, two, three. A. Cool. And try not to do it with. Try to do it with nice long bows. Sorry, I'm standing on my tiptoes so you can try to see my fingers. We'll see how that works. All right, we'll play it again on Thursday and we'll learn the B part. It's going to be amazing.